Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. It's the Scripture Links AM and I'm so thankful that you're joining me this morning. And I hope that as you go through this day that you're going to take time and say thank you to God for everything He's done for you and everything He's going to do for you. Our Scripture reading today is taken from the book of Deuteronomy way back in the Old Testament. It's Deuteronomy chapter 13 and verse number 4. Scripture tells us, Ye shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear Him, and keep His commandments, and obey His voice, and ye shall serve Him, and cleave unto Him. Friends, a lot of times we give people the misconception that, that being a Christian means nothing more than, than paying your tithes, than going to church on Sunday morning, than saying your prayer before you go to bed, and that's it. That's the impression we give a lot of people. Or sometimes we tend to tell people that, that you know, once you get saved, once you, you give your life to Jesus, that's all there is, and you just keep going about doing everything you've done. And that's, that's we're really doing a, a major disservice to people because that is, there's nothing further from the truth. Being a Christian means that you live for Jesus 24-7, 365. That's the idea we get here. In Deuteronomy chapter 13, he says, You shall walk after the Lord your God. What's that mean, to walk after the Lord your God? That means you follow Him. You follow God. You follow Him where He leads you. You follow Him where He guides you. When He tells you to go witness to somebody, you go witness to somebody. If He says in His word, Thou shalt not, that means you shall not. you got to walk after the Lord your God. He says, And fear Him. Have a fear of Him. Have a reverence for Him. Having a love for Him. And then he says, and keep His commandments. If you're going to follow Him, then you're going to naturally keep His commandments. How can we keep His commandments if we don't get into His Word and, and apply it to our lives? Yet for so many people, and people I've talked with, that I've emailed with, people I've met, so many times, the only time our Bible is open is on Sunday mornings when we go to church, and that's it. It sits there propping up a, a coffee table the rest of the week. We need to get into His Word. He says we've got to walk after the Lord, we've got to fear Him, we've got to keep His commandments, and then He says, and obey His voice. Obey the voice of God. God may not speak to you audibly like you're watching this video right now, like I'm doing in this video, but God speaks to you through His Word problem is if you don't get into his word then you're not going to hear his voice and then you're not going to be able to obey his voice because you didn't hear his voice because you weren't in his word so getting into his word on a daily basis is vitally important so many people we, we carry around a cell phone a smartphone an iphone or an android or blackberry you can get the bible on your phone and you can have it with you when you're riding the bus when you're taking a break at work when you get a free few minutes, get into God's Word. Study it. Many phones have a podcast app. Get and follow some well-known, some good Bible preachers that teach the Word of God. David Jeremiah, Charles Stanley, even us here at Scripture Links got podcasts that you could get from iTunes. Get that on your phone. Be listening to it. Then he says, And ye shall serve him. That is where so many people say, that's it, I'm not doing no more. Because they don't want to give up their life for Him. Yet God gave His life, Jesus gave His life for you. Friends, you haven't started living until you started serving God. There's no greater reward in life, there's no greater thing in life, in my opinion, than to be following the will of God for your life. But you're not going to know what that is if you're not listening to His voice or obeying His voice, if you're not obeying His commandments, if you don't fear Him, if you don't follow Him. All these things work together. Scripture says you will serve God. Find out what the place God has for you. Find out what He wants you to do with your life. Find out what your spiritual gifts are and use them. And then serve God with those gifts. And he says, finally, and cleave unto him. And cleave unto him. You know, a couple of years ago when I was at the quartet convention, we had, we were watching a, a performance from Gordon Moat. And he sang a song that says, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. 
And I didn't think about it much at the time, but Gordon Mode is a blind man, and naturally he can't go anywhere without somebody holding his hand, leading the way. That's the way it's supposed to be for us and God. We need to cleave onto him. We need to have him leading us in the paths that we have. We're not supposed to rely on ourselves. We're supposed to rely on God. Are you doing that, my friends? Take this verse, Deuteronomy 13:4, and make it a priority in your life to do the things that God has outlined in this verse. Then you can live the life that he has called for you and get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and share it with somebody today. Have a great day.